Welcome to Dave's new podcast. I've just been watching a, one of Mark Commode's uh, reviews. Uh, he was reviewing a movie by uh, starring George Clooney, a film called Up in the Air, which I really enjoyed, about a guy who uh, spends his life flying from one place to another, sacking people. He's a professional sacker, if you like, but he's so charming and so intelligent with it that, uh, you know, people hire him to do that particular job because he has all those skills and training. But he loves it, and he loves this kind of disconnected lifestyle. The The reason I mention it is because in Mark Commode's review of it, what he mentioned was that while Clooney was being that particular character, uh, Commode was really connected with the film. But then two thirds of the way through, it feels it needs to get a heart and becomes a little bit sentimental. And, uh, and and suddenly Clooney is no longer just this vacuous guy in airport terminals uh, living a life that's disconnected from others. Suddenly he has to learn on his journey. He has to get a heart. He has to change, which is the story of so many Hollywood movies. And I remember years ago, I, uh, well, for 30 odd years now, I've been doing a mime called The Chocolate Box. It's by a guy called Jeffrey Stevenson. And the original ending of this is, sorry to spoil it for you, is that the guy gets stuck inside the box of chocolates that he's been eating. It's mime, so it can get surreal. And uh, and then is let out by a passing stranger. And it's a parable about greed and, well, all kinds of things that, that start out good, that can trap us and that we can, you know, need we need to be set free from. But I once performed it to a monk, believe it or not, who was in a workshop that I was leading. And he said to me afterwards, he said, you know, I was right with you in that mime, right up until the moment when you got out of the box. He said, then it lost its power. And the reason I mention those two things together is this. I think there's great power in connecting with the human condition. And I think there's something about Clooney's vacuous lifestyle in Up in the Air, which many men, I think, will resonate with, not because they fly about the place sacking people, but because of this disconnection that we feel with other people, with meaning sometimes, with reality, all that kind of thing. And in the chocolate box, which I now end differently, I now end with the guy trapped in a box. And in some ways, there's always a slight sort of pregnant, uh, not embarrassed pause at the end, but people are never sure whether, oh, okay, that's finished, has it? Because there's no resolution. Instead, the guy is trapped in the box. But that's the most powerful part of the mime. Because if there are people out there who feel trapped in a box, that's the moment of connection for them. And then it's up to them whether or not there's another step. It's not a case of going, well, it all ends happily. It's it's a case of going, it's over to you. Are you the vacuous guy flying around, uh, remaining disconnected? Are you the person trapped in the chocolate box? Where do you go from here? W- what is the way forward? I don't read many of Paul's letters in the Bible. I know I should, but I prefer stories. The stories in the Bible, the accounts of things, the, yeah, the, the the way things play out, particularly in the Old Testament and the Gospels. But there's one bit of Paul's letters I really like, and it's Romans chapter 7. And I like it because it's the Clooney bit, because it's the trapped in the chocolate box bit. It's where Paul, who's known as Saint Paul, comes clean and says, actually, I can't live this lifestyle. I know what I should do, but I don't do it. I know that I shouldn't get trapped in chocolate boxes, but I do. I know that I shouldn't fly about like a vacuous person, that I should be totally connected with other people, totally interested in them, totally caring about them, but I don't. What am I going to do about that? And then he comes back to the place where we always come back with the Christian faith. is to say, actually, we keep getting it wrong, but thank goodness we find ourselves in Jesus on the cross and we find a way forward there. And that's not to say it's an easy solution. That's simply saying part of the solution is actually being honest and saying who we are, saying that we are those people that keep on tripping up, falling down, and uh, and then getting up again. As the old song says by Chumbawamba, I get knocked down, but I get up again. 
How do we get up again? Well, we find ourselves in Jesus. Not as an answer to all the questions in life, not as a solution to all the problems in life, but as a way forward with the problems in life. Thanks very much for listening. That was Dave's podcast.